demanded more and got it. My next guest, Kara Kinnear. It's time for things to care about, honestly. We are talking about not just women, right, mm -hmm. today? Or is it just women? Yes. No, it's not no. just women. Feminine, but billionaires. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I was feeling like this morning I was going to sell my stuff and go sing on a cruise ship. I love this jacket. Okay. God, it is so good. <laughs> okay. She not wants you to, to, well to be loved, loved like anyone. anyone. Yes. I, <laughs> you walked in with that jacket, and I do like this dress, but it's kind of itchy wool. <laughs> and all I can think about is how cozy and yes. comfortable in her We're smoking jacket. We're going riding on a freeway. Yeah. I don't know. I'm just feeling do you all the I got music in my soul. Do you want to go to karaoke? <laughs> Let me yeah, tell you, that jacket could earn you Some a billionaire open. status. <laughs> well, it is gold. I love gold. <laughs> uh, okay. Well, Solid gold. Yeah. Okay. Here we can go on forever. Yesterday it broke that Kylie Jenner. I can't believe it. Yes. Wow. Is the youngest self-made billionaire, which we'll get to in just a minute because people are grappling with the self-made title, and Forbes sort of defended <laughs> their use of it, but we'll get to that later in the list. Because first oh, we're going to break sorry. down some other billionaires that are young and how they got their fortunes. Okay. Okay, so the first one is Evan Spiegel. He's 28 years old. He's the CEO of Snapchat. He's worth $2.3 billion. He used to be the youngest billionaire in 2015. This is crazy, because I was researching these guys. He was born in 1990. I mean, I was like, you're born in 1990, oh, it's crazy. I, I was um, graduating from college then. <laughs> no. This is amazing. He, like a lot of guys on this list, um, and females, created Snapchat with two of his friends while they were students at Stanford. Um, yeah, and it was funny, so Snapchat was actually first called Peekaboo, oh. which I thought was interesting in the okay. prototype phase, and then they obviously right. changed to Snap. Good choice on that. Yes. Um, and then I was also fascinated because he's married to Miranda Kerr, who is that supermodel that was engaged to Orlando Bloom. Yes, the pretty <laughs> brunette. Yes. Of course, of course. Mm -hmm. yeah, just had a is. son. Victoria's so. Secret supermodel yeah. and a billionaire. Uh -huh, right. Why not? Mm, why not? Good for you. Interesting. Wow. Hey. Yes, so that's the first one. Okay, okay. The second one is Alexandra and Katharina Andresen. They're Norwegian. They're 21 and 22. These sisters inherited their father's wealth. He owns a firm called Ferd AS, which is a Norwegian holding company that owns companies within industry, finance, and real estate. She was also the world's youngest billionaire for like a minute in July. <laughs> for just one minute. Yeah. Yeah. Uh -huh. And then she somebody surpassed her. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. $1.4 billion dollars. A piece, but wait, wait, her mother. A piece? Yes, her mother gave her good advice. She has always driven used cars and saves most of her pocket money. She says. Interesting. I don't know how much money is in her pocket. Right. She probably has a lot of credit cards, but yeah, but still, maybe she you saves it for a rainy those day two fund. Things? Jim yeah. Newton. Well, well, maybe he's on his way. Maybe he's going to be, be the big, the big B, the big know. billionaire. Well, I'll talk about him on this show when he hits that mark. That's right. Yeah. And we're neat? going on vacation. And we will. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Go ahead. Ahead. Sorry. Okay, <laughs> okay. Number three. Okay. Number three is John Collison. He's the founder of Stripe. He founded this company with his brother. They are both worth just over a billion dollars. Stripe was some of the first patented technology that lets businesses and individuals accept payments over the internet. Wow. That's incredible. So, yeah. How much did that change our lives when we could pay people no kidding. on all of the cash hey, saving apps? I know. Um, sending apps. Unbelievable. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Wow. That's good. Oh. I and to head to this next one, yeah. I know him. Oh, you do? I mean, just from, you know. I was like, you know him. Yeah, I know. I don't know him personally. <laughs> the next one is Sean Parker. He's 39. He's a senior person on this list. <laughs> exactly. Um, he co-founded Napster, which was the yeah. file sharing computer service that we all listened to in college. I used to download illegally on Napster. Or in our 30s. Oh, yes. Or okay. in our 30s. Well, we're, we're Some of us you were in college. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> he was also the first president of Facebook. So when Ooh, Facebook yeah. had eight employees, he yeah. was one of them. Um, he's worth two and a half billion dollars. If you're good. to believe the Facebook movie, yes, don't we that was believe a good everything? Movie. I like that. It Justin was a good Timberlake movie. played him. Didn't Justin Timberlake yes. did a great job playing him, mm -hmm. but he he sort of um, jerked over a little bit. Well, or, yeah, right? he was maybe wasn't a nice guy. Yeah, he's changed his ways. He's he's into philanthropy now and has a family. Yeah, no, he, he, oh. not not uh, Mark Zuckerberg's character. It was oh. the other one, the other original, uh, the friend, yes. the original employee, uh, Hispanic name that was his partner. Sorry, sure, there I'm were four of them. Moment. There yes. were four of them. And remember, remember, remember he kind of I think tried to get him out, and right, ultimately right. he did. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. Why am I forgetting his name? He was played know. by the character, watch that the man that plays Superman. It was good. Yeah, the network. network. Why can't we remember things I right can't now? Remember. But well, that's cool. Trent Fun is looking. Look at Sean. Trent. <laughs> Trent can't stand to see us floundering up here. He's like, God, these women with their mom brains. <laughs> He's like, got it. Who was the 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 right? Mark Zuckerberg's original. Uh, 
Yes. Listen, and he, Sean Parker also Sean was Parker, taught Parker. how to program an Atari by the age of seven by his dad. Remember, he got into a little bit of trouble, too, because he his hobby was hacking, and he hacked into a Fortune 500 company. At the same time, he was getting in trouble for being on his computer too late, so his dad took away his keyboard, and then it left his IP address up. The FBI found him because he couldn't no log out. Way. They came to his house, tracked him down, and he had community service. No. He was only 16, so he couldn't be tried as an adult. Are you kidding yeah, me? Yeah, true story. That should be a movie. Well, Eduardo. maybe it is. Eduardo. Eduardo. Sorry, yes, Eduardo. played by Andrew Garfield. They really, Ooh, poor yeah. Eduardo. You remember well, that payout? For, I do oh, remember that. It's bad. I like Andrew Garfield as well. I know. I um, the next one, are we going to move on from that? Yeah. That's a lot. Okay. <laughs> um, <laughs> I feel like. Thanks, I thanks, Trent. Yes, thank you, Trent. Um, the next one is Brian Chesky. He's 37. He was Airbnb's co founder with his friend, because everybody has a partner. So yeah. this is interesting. So Brian and his partner moved from NYC to San Francisco, and they were trying, they couldn't pay their rent. You know how expensive San oh, Francisco is. Oh, I sure is. do. I do, do remember that. So then they started noticing all these conferences that came into town, yes. and how all the hotel rooms were always sold out. So they started renting out their apartment for $80 a night. They called it the Air Bed and Breakfast. They had four guests the first night. This is the Airbnb story. It's crazy. <laughs> yes, listen to this. Then they started going around to like national political conventions because they needed seed money and they were selling cereal called Obama O's and Cap and McCain's. This is true. This is <laughs> to this should be a money. movie too. Yes, and they would go to like investors and be like, here's a, a, a box of Obama O's or Captain McCain's. Will you invest in our project? And a lot of investors have said that turned down Airbnb were like, I still have the box of cereal. Like as a reminder of as me. A remi <laughs> that I really missed the boat on that Well, one. hopefully there was a little bit of a better pitch than just the cereal. Right, I, <laughs> right. yeah, Interesting. I think they told them about their idea and stuff, but now that's all history because Airbnb has over 2 million listings in over 190 countries, 34,000 registered users. Airbnb hosts have hosted over 40 million guests and the company is worth $25.5 billion. Unbelievable. Isn't we have time crazy? for one last one. Okay, this next one is kind of fun. She inherited it, but she's the oh. only grandchild of the people who started in and out Burger. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. Isn't that amazing? A, uh, a Burger heiress. in and out Burger, yeah. so whole life, yeah. anytime. She's worth $3 billion. Really? Mm -hmm. she Three sure is. billion? Yeah, and she's been married four times, which I also found interesting. Wow, wait, how old was she? Wow, she's very young. She's very young. She's okay. in her 30s. She, she was sole proprietor of the company when she was only 35, and I believe she's like 37, 38 now. Unbelievable. Yeah. And then, of course, Kylie, Kylie Jenner, Jenner who's yes. 21 years old. Now, yes. I have tried, I thought I would just, mm. you know, uh, follow along with everyone else and buy one of the, uh, the kits. The lip kits? The lip kits, okay. and it was sold out. It was. What I wanted. All right. A that's well, why she's popular. a billionaire. Yes. Yeah. Let us know if you think she's self-made. I found I was reading a bunch of articles on it, and I found all everyone's point of view very interesting. So yeah, I, I, I do too. Let mm -hmm. us know what you think yes. because was it or without her family could she have? Sure. Oprah you know, self-made. Self-made. Kylie, Kylie Jenner. Jenner. Uh, question mark. We don't Let know. us know. <laughs> okay, Kara. When's the last time you told a lie? Uh, when you told me I like this, you like this dress? <laughs> no, I don't know. It's was that it? Was yeah. that it? I love that. We're coming dress. up next in Real Talk. We are discussing the top fibs that people tell and how often they tell them. And maybe you're going to relate to some of them. Are they really bad? Not unusual oh, to, to lie to anyone. No, not unusual. <laughs>